Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In this video, we are going to learn how to activate SSL certificate for free on your WordPress website. So as you can see, this website is showing us not secure status here. Now we are going to add and activate a free SSL certificate so that it will show secure site. So let me take you to my WordPress dashboard. And after that, we have to install a plugin. So from plugins, I'm going to click on add new. After that, we have to make a search here for free SSL and hit enter. And it is going to show us few of the SSL plugins, but we are going to install this one WP encryption. So let me click on this install button. It is going to help us get a free SSL certificate and activate it. So let me click on this activate button. All right, now we are going to click on this skip button. And we are going to choose the free plan. So let me click on this select plan. And after that, we are going to click on these boxes. I agree to let encrypt terms of service. I agree to WP encryption terms of service. Provide an email address here. So I'm going to provide my email address. And then let's click on generate SSL certificate. So now we have got two options from where we can verify the website ownership and activate the SSL certificate. So first one is to download these files and uploading them from our cPanel. So let me just click on this download button. And here we go, we have got the first file downloaded. Then let me download this one. Here we go, we have got the second file downloaded as well. If you just notice here, open FTP or file manager on your hosting panel. So let me take you to my hosting panel from here. After that, we are going to files, then the file manager. Okay, so whatever hosting panel you are using, you have to go to the file manager uh, option. So uh, if you're not seeing these options here, you might going to see them appearing here on these fields, okay? So here I have opened the file manager folder. Now what we have to do, we have to go back here. We are going to read this one, navigate to your domain slash sub domain folder then create dot well known folder so i'm going to copy this dot well known copy and then we are going to go back here after that inside the public html folder we are going to create a new folder so let me click on this after that i'm going to paste dot well known now let's click on create all right so we have got well known created now let's go back here for the next information and create acme challenge folder inside dot well known folder so now we have to create another folder inside well known folder so let's go back here after that we are going to the inside of this folder which is well known after that we have to create another folder which is going to be this one acme challenge let's click on create all right now let's go back here after that upload the above downloaded challenge files into acme challenge folder so now we have to upload the downloaded file which we have downloaded here or actually these four files right now we have to go back here after that inside this folder so let me go inside now we have to drag them here all right let's click on upload okay the first file is uploaded let's drag this one let's click on upload here we go we have got them uploaded here now we have to go back here we have to verify the http challenge so we are going to click on this button let's click on this and it is going to see if they found the files on our database so it is going to load and it might going to take like few seconds so let's just wait while it is working here we go congrats ssl certificate have been successfully generated now it's time to install the ssl certificate so we have to do a few more steps so let me click here to see where it takes okay no problem we are going to cross back so i can simply access my cpanel from here okay from my hosting panel and after that the mentioned as you can see here we have to go to this option ssl or tls option yours on your cpanel so let's go back here after that we have to find the ssl or tsl option from here um here we go here is ssl as you can see under advanced option so i'm going to click on this okay 
now let's go back here and read the other details click on manage ssl sites option then we have to copy the contents of certificate.crt which is going to be here private.pm and ca bundle crt files from below and paste them into the appropriate folder uh, fi fields on cpanel you can also download the cert files to your local computer right click open okay so we have to copy these documents and then we have to paste them inside these um, information so i'm going to click on this import ssl button after that as you can see here fill in keys for your ssl so the first one is certificate so we have to go back here after that you can see this file certificate so let's click on this copy icon and here we go copy it successfully now let's go back after that we have to paste the copied document or information here on this let's say uh, keys certificate key now we have to copy our private key and then paste it here so let's go back here after that here is private.pem which containing the private key so let me copy and let's go back after that we are going to paste it here all right now let's go back again here after that we have to copy this one ca bundle.crt let's click on this after that we have to go back here let's paste the information here as you can see it is mentioned certificate authority bundle ca bundle right and you can see the name here ca bundle.crt all right now what we have to do we have to simply click on this install ssl button and here we go ssl is successfully installed now your ssl is now installed and we have automatically forced http as on your domain so now if i click on this link you are going to see that we have got this lock icon appearing and our website got a free ssl activation and it is going to like you have to update this ssl after three months like after 90 days you have to um, install this manually again so this was the tutorial video um, for activating free ssl on your website and i believe you have found this video helpful so if you have learned something from this video please give this video a like and let me know by commenting below and if you have got any further question please feel free to ask me thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye